right off the bat, I can already tell you South Cumberland has the most trailheads we've seen during this series. 12 different trailheads with nearly 100 miles of trail. Um, it is one of Tennessee's largest state parks. So apparently there's 31,000 acres here of just wilderness. And I know they have about four or five um, waterfalls here. So I'm not sure or possibly more. Now I'm looking at the at the map and I definitely see more. So we're going to try to make our way to some of these, but I'm not sure. Um, so this one is leading down the meadow trail. So I'm just looking. Okay, so which one should we run into from here? So that's just a one mile trail. It's not... Yeah, that one's not going to lead to anything. So what we'll need to do is definitely scan the QR codes. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to scan the QR codes because they have actually way more waterfalls than what I thought. This middle one here, there are no waterfalls here. Okay, so this middle one is listing about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 waterfalls. So yeah 12 waterfalls at this one and caves and sinks and just gulfs and coves and all the things that people love to take in and then uh, apparently they have some scenic overlooks so i'm sure we could possibly drive up to some of them if not all of them so yeah i'm not going to any caves today i'm gonna straight up tell y'all uh-uh we're not we're not doing caves but what we may do is a bit of rock climbing uh, on our next visit out here and then going caves then. Ooh, so this is the first state park we've been to where they've had something on this place. So this is the red tailed hawk. So we're gonna go over here and check out this signage. Y'all know I gotta start the trails off like that. Be too much information around here for me to recall it at a later time. Yo, comment down below if y'all actually revisit the video, pause it, and read through this information I provide y'all. Sometimes I do that when I when I'm editing. I'm like, okay, cool. I missed that when I was there, but it's nice that I got a good shot of it. So this one actually has like a threefold um to it inside it. So I'm just gonna kind of pan it and hopefully you catch everything you need to catch there. So I'm definitely about to take this meadow trail because I want to see the teaching garden. Let me make sure nothing's on the other side of here. Oh, okay. Just a uh, different wildflowers we may may find and then an advertisement for Bigfoot. Okay, let's start this trail. All right. Welcome to the meadow trail. What? Shout out to Class 2020. This is the first state park we've been to with a free library, so that's great. All right, let's go on and start our trail then. <music> It's already been pretty awesome. Um, found out some things I didn't know about certain trails and, and uh, falls in this area. So we actually have a game plan now. We're going to hit up three of the falls that um, this gardener recommended that works in the visitor center. So we will get around to that and I will pick the camera back up once we've made it to those locations. If I see anything else interesting, I'll definitely uh, show it to you all. But I'm going to enjoy this hike. It's just one mile, so I imagine it's going to go by fairly quick. So I just want to take it all in. It looks like they're keeping some hives back there. And like most visitor center uh, state park, at state parks, they do have basketball goal, um, more parking, a pavilion for like picnics. They also have a swing set and 
playground so there's stuff near the actual gift shop and center where you can come and enjoy yourself if you have kids even before getting into your actual hike to the falls to the trailheads that lead to most of the things that people want to see now it's just a matter of driving over to those places and then getting to it so i will pick this back up bring you guys along once we get there so we have made it to the grundy forest state natural area which is going to take us to many of those waterfalls that we were talking about and so it begins guys this is why being out in the woods is exciting because you never know what terrain you're going to have to cross to get to where you're trying to go go and sometimes it's very steep like look nothing but a drop nothing but a drop wear some sturdy shoes guys look at how deep that drop is every time you go to a waterfall in tennessee there's always these little overheads that are pretty steep but you can get a glimpse of the water and how it's flowing it is beautiful out here man so i'm gonna keep y'all posted but i'm gonna put the cam away and uh bring you back along once we make it to the falls okay oh wait you catch a glimpse of it from here one of them down in there yep got water people I'm telling y'all man get out in the woods and nature just be still in it so beautiful out here so nice there's nothing like it. Listening to water and taking deep breaths. It's beautiful. This is the second trail here. If I can go down this way, I could probably do that without slipping and falling or anything. Yeah, I think that's the game plan. Go down that way. So we've made it to another one. This one is a schoolhouse branch moonshine steel. So this is the view of the schoolhouse branch and this is a part of the Gundy uh, Forest Day Loop Trail from where we were it took maybe five minutes for me to make my way over here I'm gonna flip this over and give y'all a shot of just the write-up they have about this natural area and then we'll keep going along on this loop <music> And here is a closer look at it. So you can see where it starts back here and it runs off down in there. Y'all hear that? It's frogs. get the reward when you get out and move so we've seen the two that they were talking about that were like about a mile or two into the trail now we're going to drive to the other trail which would lead us to bigger falls these doggone bees ain't no joke out here <laughs> So since the last one was about a 13 mile hike uh, to all of those falls there, including the Sycamore Falls, which is supposed to be really cool, we're going to circle back to that one possibly this weekend, um, but I'll go ahead and record the one here, which is Foster Falls. Apparently it's not a large hike. You can get to it ra relatively easy and it's uh, rewarding. So let's go and check that out and I will update you guys once I make it to it. I feel like we got plenty of footage of me walking through the woods. I mean, it essentially it starts to just look the same unless there's some like cool um, trails that, you know, the trail features that they put on here. I highly doubt that because much of the state parks are left undisturbed. So we're just going to pick this back up when I make it to the waterfalls. Man, they were in line when they said it's a short, short hike. So here we go. Bottom of the waterfall, it's 0.4 miles. So we want to do that. So we're going to go down. And then this is the overlook. So we can 
definitely take that in while we're here wow it's super dry i feel like i'm walking in a desert look at this y'all look behind me remember dirt that is not soil it's just straight up dirt that's a good thing to know if you come out here and you do that grundy trail from the grundy forest that's why it's 13 miles because it's sending you back through here too so the opposite direction is the part of that loop base of the falls just saying let's go here we are getting ready to go down Oh, it's nice that they have this stair. Still going to let y'all go so I can pay attention and not have no issues getting down here. Update, we are almost to the bottom. Look what's behind me, y'all. Where we started, now we down here. The arrow pointing the trail and you can see the waterfall in the distance back there. We're almost to it. Just gotta go down more rocks. there y'all it's so beautiful oh yeah it's totally worth it the hardest part is getting across them rocks taking your time being careful and you're good to go from there but if you don't take your time you try to rush through it you will fall and you do not want to do that up that high okay so uh let's actually enjoy this waterfall now we made it to the bottom we came from y'all all the way up there all right y'all see them people walking we were all the way up there and then they gotta go up some more so we are now at the bottom the, the, the walk was not bad at all it wasn't brutal i'm about to just chill on one of these rocks and take in this waterfall because that's dope right there This one of the main reasons why I love Tennessee. You can always come and find somewhere to kick your feet up and look at a waterfall. I hope y'all enjoyed this Saturday park adventure. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.